Hi there everyone, I am always going to be a little bit ahead of you in terms of uh, I, I, I make these videos a day before you see them. So I, I'm able to feed back uh, sort of about sort of one lesson late. So you've had two lessons that I've set already and I've had lots of great stuff back from um, eight of you for the first lesson, which is really good. But we, we need to see some, some more action from some of the rest of you. So all you've got to do um, at the end is take a picture of your work. It doesn't have to be all of your work. It could just be the, the, the last question or two or whichever question um, caused you the most difficulty or that you're most pleased with and just upload that onto class charts and then I'll give you some recognition for that. Okay, uh, we're going to crack on today. We're going to be moving in towards frequency tables for the next two lessons, but we're starting with data collection sheets, which is where frequency tables then come from. Right, so here's our first question. Philip's going to carry out a survey of the football teams supported by people in his year. We need to draw a suitable data collection sheet that Philip could use. It will be three marks. This comes up quite a lot in, in GCSEs, so it's an important thing for us to cover, although it's quite simple. Um, and I'm doing it now because in frequency tables, uh, frequency tables are kind of where the data is taken to from these data collection sheets. So what he would need to do, he would just create a tally chart basically and you would get one mark for having that word tally in there. Then he would want his his teams to be going down there. So the foot and then he wouldn't write down every football team he could think of straight away. He would probably write down a, a the, the big few or he'd just go up and start asking people in his year which football team they supported and then he would put it down there so if he asked the first person it's probably going to be something like Norwich City I would imagine um, so he would ask them and they'd put a tally down there then he would go along with someone else and I don't know it might be Liverpool apparently they're quite good at the moment it might be Manchester United I'll upset all you City fans if I don't put Man City down there so will I do it no i won't i think i might put well put whoever you like it doesn't matter we don't need to put that many down but the point is a liverpool person would have said that and you might be having a few liverpool fans here and a, oh, a few more norwich city fans when you get to five of course you do that now there's two marks for what we've done so far and often people get those two marks and they get a mark wrong at this point because they put the word total there but that's not the total. The total is going to be how many people he's seen all together. And you don't even need to put the total down on the collection sheet. You only need that when you start looking at it later. So this is saying how many people like Norwich, how many people like Liverpool, Man United and so on. So what we need here is a word that means that it begins with F. frequency so if something happens frequently it happens often frequency is how often that is so frequency there i'd have norwich six liverpool oh that's not four is it that's three and man city one and if you wanted a total you could have it down at the bottom but you don't need to do that bit to get the mark but that would add up to make 10. okay so that's data collection sheets that's all we're going to do for them uh, we're going to go straight on to how that then becomes a frequency table. Right, so here's our first frequency table. Now, I don't want you to worry about all the questions that are on uh, the sheet I put on for today. Uh, we're going to do all the questions over the next two lessons. So in this lesson, we're just going to do questions one, two and three. Now. We've got to work out the mean number of points per game. Now, the most common thing that people do is add up all of the frequencies and then divide by six because they've got six numbers there. But that's not what happens because you've got to think about the fact that this has all been gathered via a data collection sheet and put together. So when it says this, it says nine what's happened here someone scored zero well nine times people have scored zero so that means our real data in terms of numbers like we were looking at before three four five six 
seven, eight, nine. We've got nine zeros. We've got eleven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got eighteen twos. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Is there a quicker way of doing this? There is a quicker way of doing it, but I would like to make you all think, if you're in an exam and you're not sure what's going on, do what I've done there to make you think about how many numbers there are. But there is a quicker way of doing it, because what we need to do is we need to add up all of these numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are to find the mean. Now, how many numbers there are is called the total frequency so write this down our total frequency and i'd like you to put down in brackets how many numbers there are so if we add this up 19 plus 11 is 20 30 38 45 49.50, oh that's nice, so there's 50 um, different uh, games that have happened. Then, here we're going to work out, well those nine zeros would all add up to make zero, wouldn't they? Those 11 ones would all add up to make 1 plus 1 plus 1 is, is 11, isn't it? What calculation will tell us what the 18 twos add up to? 2 times 18. So here we're going to do points times frequency. So I'm just going to put P and F to stand for that. Two 18s are 36. Three sevens are 21. Four fours are 60. Five ones are 5. Now if I add all of those up, that'll give me the grand total. So what have I got? 7, 8, 14, uh, 19, carry the 1, 2, 4, 7, 8. So that's giving me 89 that needs to be divided by 50. So now this is our total. So the mean is equal to the total value of everything all done. We're I'm going to call that the grand total divided by the total frequency. So how many numbers you've got. So we've got 89 divided by 50. Now if that's in the calculator paper you just do 89 and divide it by 50. Nice way to divide anything by 50 is to double what you've got and divide it by 100. So double that is 178. And 178 divided by 100, dividing by 100 is easy. We just move the point across twice would give us a score of 1.78. OK, so here's our second uh, frequency table, folks. Um, Pause the video, have a go at it. Whilst you do that, I'm going to, uh, I, I feel the need of a boost. So this is, I don't know if any of you recognise it, but it's a stem ginger uh, cookie for a deluxe cookie from Lidl. So a cracker. Now it's always worth reading the first sentence because it makes you think about what's going on. The table is showing information about the number of goals scored in a game by a football team. So there have been a load of games and in each one an amount of goals have been scored. So quite often the football team scored no games whatsoever. So we'd have points times frequency. No tens or ten zeros would give us nothing. So that is our ten, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there are going to be 12 ones, which make 12 goals altogether. 
nastily here they've gone and put in an x so we don't know what that is but what would we do with it we would times whatever that number was by 2 wouldn't we so if we times the number by 2 we call that 2x three sevens make 21 because that would be sorry seven threes that would be seven of those wouldn't it six seven add all those together you'd get 21 four or more none so we haven't got any there now we need to know how many games they've played all together and we can work that up by adding up the frequencies we've got 10 12 or x and 17 so that means uh, 22 29 plus however many twos there are we don't know how many they are so we're just going to, have to write that for now um, and here all of these are adding up now this is meant to add up to what does this add up to i've got 12 and i've got 21 well that makes 33 i've also got 2x so it's 33 plus 2x don't know how big that 2x is but what i can do is make a little equation here because 33 plus 2 times however many games is giving me 55 goals but if i take those 33 goals away can do the same thing to both sides in an equation that leaves me with 22 22 goals from the 2 times x well if 2 times x is 22 the x must be what 22 divided by 2 is which is 11 because 2 11s make 22 so the value of x is 11 bit of a nasty one that but don't worry about it, we'll come on to question three, and there's no algebra involved here. This is just thinking about what's going on. But the first question is asking you for the median. So that means you need to line up them all up in order and pick the middle one. So pause the video and have a go. But remember, we've got seven zeros. And then you're going to want to carry on with the ones. So if we write them all out, you should have got something like this. Now we want to find the middle one. It looks like it might be a one, but I'm not sure. Now there's more than one way I could do this. I could do it by crossing out the smallest value and the biggest value and do that again and again and again and so on. Or I could think about it a bit more. If I add these numbers up here, I sh I'm pretty sure I'm going to get 38. The reason I'm pretty sure I'm going to get 38 is it says the number of goals a team scored in 38 games. Now what that means is there are going to be 17 results before the median. Not 17, what's half of 38? 19 before the median, 19 after it. So it's going to be between the 19th and the 20th. To find which position, you add 1 to how many you've got and divide by 2. So 39 divided by 2 is 19.5. So we're looking between the 19th and the 20th. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that is between those two there. So it's between 1 and 1, which means that the median must be 1 because it's lying in amongst these ones here. So that's, uh, that's finding the median. A little bit nasty. Write down the mode. It just, because it says write down the mode, isn't a lot of thinking to do that so the mode is the most common remember so what was the most common thing to happen the biggest frequency tells us that it must be one because there are 14 ones and now 
they want us to work out the total number of goals the team scored in all 38 games. Well, that's what we were doing before in order to find the mean. It's not asked us to find the mean this time. So we're going to add on another column. And it'll be the points times the frequency again. And then adding those up. So 0 times 7 is 0. 1 times 14 is 14. 2 11s are 22. 3 sixes are 18. 4 zeros are 0. Add these up. 8 at 2 is 10, at 4 is 14, carry the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means 54 goals in 38 games. So I hope you didn't find that too nasty. It is getting a little trickier. Uh, our next lesson, we will take this further and do the rest of this worksheet. Um, and then I'll be looking for a little bit of feedback from you after that as to whether or not we need to go back and make it a little bit easier again or whether you're ready to go forward on the next bit. OK, so please do let me know about any of that. And remember to upload some evidence of what you've done for today. Brilliant stuff. Thanks. Bye.